In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome, my Lord Bishops. Welcome all the family members of our brother, Father John Wanze. Welcome all priests and religious here present, our worshiping community members, and all friends and well wishes who have come to celebrate this Mass of the Resurrection as we bid farewell to our brother, Father John Wanze. We thank God for his life and we ask you to, as you have come to join us, to continue to pray for him as we lift him up before the throne of grace for God's mercy and pardon. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters. Be almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that the soul of John, your servant and priest, whom you honored with sacred office, while he lived in this world, may exalt forever in the glorious home of heaven. We ask the trial of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and is with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Isaiah. On that day, on this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of fat things. And he will destroy on this mountain the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up that forever. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces and the reproach of his people. He will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, that he might save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. 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 Ooh, shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Ooh, should I dread? There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of 
of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord to inquire at his temple. O oh Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer me. Of you my heart has spoken. It is your face, O oh Lord. That I seek, hide not your face from me. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living wait for the lord be strong be salt hearted and wait for the lord A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, we know that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. For it is all for your sake, so that as grace extends to more and more people, it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart. Though our outer man is wasting away, our inner man is being renewed every day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Because we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient. For the things that are unseen are eternal. For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so he who eats me, will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not such as the fathers ate and died. He who eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord Glory to Jesus. I've captured my reflection today. As I reflect on the life of our brother, Father John, it is good to be good. Charity must not suffer. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are still in Easter season. And I do believe every Christian, especially Catholics, who truly practice their faith, we find it very easy to understand what we are celebrating today at this time. The meaning of resurrection. At Easter, we celebrate the resurrection of Christ our Lord. Our brother, Father John, in baptism, died with Christ and rose with him. As St. Paul says, He who was baptized in Christ, and by so doing, united himself with him in death like this, will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like this. Romans chapter 6, verses 3 to 5. At this mass of resurrection, we are thanking God for the life of our brother, Father John, who has gone to his Lord and Master, Jesus, 
Like St. Paul, he can say, even before his death, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now the risk laid for, for me the crown of righteousness with which the Lord, the just judge, will reward me on that day. And not only me, but all those who have longed for this glorious coming. For his glorious coming. Second Timothy chapter 4 verses 7 to 8. As our second readings today say to us, we know that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us and you into his presence. So we do not lose heart. We do not get discouraged. The first reading talks about the banquet of the saved, those who are saved after judgment. And if we put this side by side with our gospel reading, we'll have cause to praise and thank God for our brother, Father John, because he was privileged not only to partake of the banquet, but he nourished others with the banquet on the mountain of the sacred altar at the table of the Lord, the table of the Eucharist. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats this bread, he will live forever. And the bread which I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Truly I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will have no life in you. But I don't believe in Christ. He dedicated his life to him and made such a commitment the day he made his solemn profession and vowed obedience, which in our order includes chastity and poverty, until death until death. He has fulfilled that promise, that vow. He persevered until death. But I did not only eat the body of Christ and drink his blood. As ordained priest, he brought Christ to the altar by the words of consecration pronounced by him. He made Christ present in making bread and wine to become the body and blood of Christ. He offered this sacrifice for and on behalf of the people. He was nourished by the Eucharist, he celebrated, and he nourished the faithful with the body and blood of Christ in this sacrament of the Eucharist. All this merited him the fulfillment of the promise Christ made. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. May the Lord God raise our brother, Father John, up this day and on the last day. Amen. He lived his religious life and priestly life faithfully and conscientiously. He was ordained on 31st March in the year 1975 and died on 15th March 2021. It is this saying something to us. That means from this calculation, he was priest for 47 good years and lived his religious life for 52 good years. Glory to Jesus. And by the way, he happened to be the first or one of the first two Nigerians to be ordained priest. Dominicans in Nigeria. Today, we have with us, by the grace of God, Father Calistus. And then the third person ordained the same day with them, Father Gebat Tessin, left this country only last year, August, 
after about 47 years of meritorious service in the vineyard of the Lord as a Dominican in this country. Before joining the Dominicans, Father John established the Knight of the Altar as St. Dominic in conjunction with other men who are his friends. Unfortunately, today, one of them is with us here, Mr. Santos Gaston, our able lay Dominican for several years, and is still pushing forth. He is with us here today. And two of them are St. Dominic yesterday, served the Mass. And none of them is less than 75, by the way. Glory to Jesus. So we thank God for Father John. He also started the Society of St. Vincent de Paul at St. Dominic. And my Lord Bishop, Bishop Ayo Maria, told me yesterday that Father John was the one, the first to start the West African Association of Indigenous Religious. Just for you to have to catch a glimpse of the life of this man, this brother of ours. As a priest, he touched many lives with his generous, simple, and gentle life, teaching and preaching in West and indeed. He identified with the poor and the needy in following his, his Lord and Master Jesus. He had no time for himself, but for others. He had no time for himself, but for others. He ministered to the people of God in the northern part of this country. Today we are having in our midst His Excellency, my Lord Bishop, the Bishop of Minna Diocese, Bishop Martin Uzuku, who was his contemporary on that mission in the north. My Lord, you are welcome once again. In the south, at Agbo, and in Lagos, he worked tirelessly. We were told that the money given to Father John to run school sometimes will be used to do charity to people. And so when it is time for salary, you'll be looking for money to go and pay salary. That's how generous he was. But I can tell you, he never lagged anyway. And living this country, he ministered as a priest in different parts of the north of America. So today, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, just as Father John was good to people, we are remembering also that he received God's goodness from people. His reward started from here on earth. So don't be discouraged that your reward is only in heaven. Although in the latter part of his life, he suffered serious health challenges, Father John knew what it means to experience pain. He knew what it means to experience sickness. And you will never see it in him because in his own gentle way, he will keep on moving and you believe, think that maybe the next one or two minutes is going to collapse. No way. But God raised up people to take care of him as he has taken care of others in his early days. May God bless our EAJ sisters, especially those at Anchorage, Alaska, whom God used to make him experience loving care for some years up to the time he died. One day I went to the superior of the EAJ to express our appreciation for what the sisters at Anchorage are doing for us in the life of Father John. And sister said to me, but you know, Father, Father John too has been very good to us. 
whatever we can do to show him appreciation can never be too much. And I said, thank you, sister. We are very grateful. That is Father John. He was good to everybody. He stayed so much, I mean, for some time at Alaska because of health condition. And even in 19, I mean, 2014, when he came home to be at home finally, the health problem came up and he has to go back to see his doctor in the U.S. And when we expected that he would be back, the doctor wrote and said, no, he cannot make it for the next six months. We need to keep watch. But between 2014 and 2021, Father John was still alive to the glory of God. But God says, on the, 25th, only on the 15th of, of March, the Lord says, the time has come. Come back my home. My, my son, come back home. Come to your rest. In 2019, when he came for a short visit, he almost couldn't get back to Alaska. But again, by divine intervention, he got there, went to a hospital, and came back alive. And so we can continue on and on. Because of his Medicare, because of Medicaid, we couldn't have forced Father John to come back. But we have to thank God because he has provided the opportunity to, for him to receive adequate care, adequate care. And today, we are celebrating. Yes, we are not going to have him in our midst, but we are not mourning him. We are praising and thanking God for his life. In the morning of 17th November 2020, our vicar for North America and the islands, Father Dominic Shikana, sent me a message to inform me that Father John was taken to hospital and that his condition was worrisome. Immediately we communicated this to our brothers and we all started praying. And to the glory of God, Father John survived it. Thinking that at this time, we have to bring him home before another one will occur. But then, medical advice wouldn't permit that. And as we are still hoping, only for me to receive another call on the 17th of February this year from our vicar again. That the sisters taking care, Sister Genevieve and others, had just called that Father John was rushed to hospital. At this time, in a very critical condition. Again, we started praying. It is good to be good. For Father John desired to be in the community of brothers. And as God will have it, brothers Dominic Eshik and our vicar in North America and the islands, and our director of development office, brother Raymond Wabweze, went to see him, to be with him for some days between the 9th and 12th of April 2021. While there, they joined the sisters to attend to him. They celebrate mass for him and with him and gave him the last sacrament to prepare him for the journey. From there, our vicar, Brother Dominic, called me and told me, you know what? From all the signs, it will be a matter of this. Father John will leave us. Unless miracle happens. And so, on the 15th of March, on the 12th, between 9th and 12th of March, they went to see him on the 15th of March. 
at 15.00 hours. That's 3 o'clock. I received a message from Sister Genevieve. And she said, Father John died this morning. I exclaimed, Oh my God. So soon, sooner than we expected. That is God. Your ways are not my ways. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. It is good to be good. When the Archbishop of Anchorage was informed, he was told about the plan to have mass for Father John at Anchorage because he ministered to God's people there for some years. The, bishop, the Archbishop did not only accept, he promised to be personally there and preside at that mass and said it should take place at the cathedral. This took place on 14th April, as promised by the Archbishop. And he was present at that Mass, not only himself, but, but also another bishop. Today, we are having two bishops. Glory to Jesus. It is good to be good. The whole process of repatriating the body of Father John was undertaken by Vika and other brothers there in the, in the U.S., the director of the Lord office and the other brothers. But as God we have it, everything went smoothly by God's grace. The mother remains of our brother arrived in Nigeria on the 19th of April. That was last week, Monday. It is good to be good. So then do not let us think that we have lost him in eternity, no. Go back to our first reading today. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of fat things. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from our faces. May God wipe away tears from our faces. May he wipe away any sins our brother, Father John, has, has not atoned for before God called him. I mean, he welcomed him into the company and fellowship of all the saints in heaven. Amen. As we celebrate this Mass and pray for our brother, let us think about ourselves and our, our own life. How good are you? How good am I? No one knows the hour. No one knows the day. What will people say? How good would they say you were when you were on earth? Faith, hope, and charity. Love. The greatest of all this is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Today we are celebrating the life of our own sister, St. Catherine of Siena. And it's the same day we are burying our brother, Father John. And we have it to say about her, the life of charity in boldness. Her presence as you joy and happiness. We thank God for our brother. And we thank God for all those who showed him so much love. And on behalf of my Dominican family, on behalf of my Dominican brothers and sisters, I thank God for our EAJ sisters, beginning with their superior general, for not only allowing her sister to take care of Father John, but also for encouraging them and even assisting them to do so. And all the sisters, the AJ sisters, at the community at Anchorage. May God take care of them at their times of need. And may they never lack divine love in Jesus' name. I think our brothers in the USA, especially the vicar, 
and the director of development office for their show of brotherhood. We thank all the members of Father John's families for the support they gave Father John and for, for, for allowing him to serve God faithfully. May God console you all. We thank our Dominican family members. We thank all the priests and religious who have come to join us here today. You can see some representatives of religious congregations here. May God console you all, friends and well wishers of Father John. We thank our DIHM members, ADF members, and friends of Dominicans. May the soul of our brother, Father John, and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. It is good to be good. For all of us here, let us take advantage of every opportunity we have to do good. You will never lose the reward. May he rest in peace. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. For John, once, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. For our brother John Wanze, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. For our brother John Wanze, who served the church as a priest, that he may be given a place in the liturgy of heaven, we pray to the Lord.
for our deceased relatives and friends and for all who have helped us that they may have the reward of their goodness. We pray to the Lord. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again. That they may see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. For the family and friends of our brother John Wanze, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. We pray to the Lord. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. We ask a blessed Mother Mary to intercede for us, and especially for our brother, Father John. As we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our shelter and strength, to listen in love to the cry of your people, hear the prayers we offer for your departed, for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse our brother John of his sins and grant him the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Page 14, 14.
Page 15, page 15.
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through these holy mysteries, John, your servant and priest, may behold with clarity forever what he faithfully ministered here through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just a duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God. Oh, Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection has done. That those Suddenly, by the certainty of dying, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. In the age for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, as an eternal dwelling is made. Ready for them in heaven. And so all with angels and saints, archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the name of your glory as without end we are You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you gave life to all things and made them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly employ you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when Sofa was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that you may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Dominic, St. Catherine of Siena, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. John, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pagan church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gabriel, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant and priest, John, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lonely body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you, as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, where you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without hands, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. And the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching. 
we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious, the grand peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be saved. Page 16, Fabrocho.
let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we employ your kindness, O God, for John, your servant and priest, that as you made him a steward of your mysteries on earth, so you may bring him to be nourished by their truth and reality as unveiled in heaven through Christ our Lord. Glory to Jesus. At this juncture, I would like to invite Sir Mike Wanzi, KSM, for the, the tribute. Your Lordships, Bishop Martin, Bishop Martin Uzoku, Bishop of Catholic Diocese of Mina, Your Lordship, Emeritus Bishop of Catholic Diocese of Ilari, Bishop Ayo Maria, Provincial of the Dominican. In Nigeria and Ghana, St. Joseph, the Walker Province, all priests present, Dominican aspirants, Reverend Sisters, religious men and women, and the laity. I want to start by thanking the provincial of the Dominicans in Nigeria and Ghana, Reverend Father Richard Ogilimbe, for the painstaking effort and his counsel in their tireless effort towards bringing our brother back to Nigeria and also all the accompanying efforts made by them to ensure that our brother, Father John, one day, had the best, even at the most trying period. We also extend our thanks to the EHJ hierarchy, led by Sister Mary Agatha Osarenko, the EHJ sisters who took care of our brother in Anchorage, Alaska, led by Sister Genevieve Osayeme and the two other Reverend Sisters. We appreciate them greatly. We extend our thanks to the two Archbishops of Anchorage, Alaska, who, in spite of their tight schedule, were able to fix a funeral mass in Anchorage in the cathedral for our brother, Father John, one day. Our thanks and appreciation goes to Bishop Uzoku and Bishop Ayo Maria, who had accompanied us on this journey right from when our brother's health began failing him. We thank them for their prayers and support. Our thanks goes to the Dominican community in Yaba for the times when our brother was visiting Nigeria, the care they took and their interest in making him get well. We extend our appreciation once again to the Dominican community in Ibadan for all their interest shown in our brother 
the times we have visited here, they have joined us in praying for Father John's health. We cannot but has performed so well. Our appreciation also goes to the knights of the altar, especially of St. Dominic, of which he was the founder and present regional director up to the time of his death. We thank all those laity who have come from dif different areas to pay homage to our brother, Father John Wanke. The one is the family of Asaba. I appreciate the Dominican of Joseph, St. Joseph Walker province. We have also news from the Asaba, uh, Asaba family in Dumumbwe to thank the Dominican hierarchy for all that they have done to thank and pay tribute. We will not be able to live here soon. We sincerely from the bottom of our hearts, on behalf of my siblings, we thank you all. We thank Father Richard once again. Thank you. And God bless every one of us. I now invite His Lordship, Bishop Martin Uzoku, the Catholic Bishop of Mina Diocese, to say a few words. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. my Bishop. You know, from the Lord Diocese. He is my bishop. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being with us. I want to thank the provincial and all the Dominicans in Nigeria, Ghana, Daluno, Ungode, Echepupo. Let's listen to the following announcement. The final commendation will be done by His Lordship, Bishop Martin Uzoku, the Catholic Bishop of Mina Diocese. This shall be the order of procession to the cemetery. All the Dominican priests present here, other priests are religious, members of Dominican family and the immediate family members of our brother, John Wanzi. The rest of us are to wait behind while others go to the cemetery. Meanwhile, you move to the Hall of Martyrs where you'll be entertained with a light refreshment. I now invite the prior of the community, Father Nathaniel Eshikina, for a vote of thanks. Slowship, Most Reverend Dr. Aya Maria Atoyebi. Emeritus Bishop of Ilori. We both understand each other very well. And in that wise, we call each other, we have an adjective before what we call each other, and we call that adjective friar. So, friar bishop me on one, and he, he also helped me in qualifying it to put Julo. So, friar bishop me on one Julo, we want to appreciate your presence. His Lordship Most Reverend Dr. Martin Uzoko, Bishop of Mina Diocese, we also want to appreciate you again. You are also Egbon, so we are saying thank you for coming again. 
coming around. We want to also express our gratitude to our provincial, very Reverend Father Richard Ogeding Bay, Prior Provincial. As we're processing, as we're processing, I cited somebody. I cited somebody. And, you know, the provincial said uh, three bishops here. Yes, he was correct. But then we also have the invisible presence of our big brother in the archdiocese, represented by very Reverend Father Gregory Oyelami, the vicar to the archbishop. He's sitting somewhere there. He's a very quiet person. We also want to welcome the members of the Dominican family. We welcome members of Father John's family, immediate family members. As I do all this, um, permit me to pause to say something. I'm sorry if somehow I must have inadvertently. I'd like to conclude with some rhymes. I don't know why this happens to me. When I'm trying to resist, it just happens. So permit me to conclude with these rhymes, these prayerful rhymes. The first one is general. The second one, although general, is devoted to the EAJ sisters as well, the Eucharistic Heart of Jesus sisters. And I also want to devote this to our brother, Father John, who made sure that people respected, venerated Jesus. They adored Jesus in the Eucharist. In fact, to have established the knights of the altar was another way of making sure we don't goof when it comes to the Eucharist that we give, render adoration properly to the Eucharist. So the first one about the prayerful rhymes, if you have a pen, you may write. About the prayerful rhymes goes like this. May we continue to enjoy God's grace as we pace on this heavenly race. Amen. The second one, as we continue to be good, may we not become tired of being good, even when booed, because the Eucharist remains our food. Again, may we not become tired of being good, even when booed, because the Eucharist remains our food. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. I now invite Bishop Martin for the final commendation. With faith in Jesus, we reverently bring the body of our brother, Reverend Father John Wednesday O.P., to be buried in human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God, who gives life to all things, that he will raise up 
this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give him a merciful judgment and forgive all his sins. May Christ, the good shepherd, lead him safely home to be at peace with God our Father. And may he be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal King. Saints of God, come to his aid. Come, meet him, angel, angels of the Lord. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Give him eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on him forever. Father, into your hands we commend our brother, Reverend Father John Wednesday O.P. We are confident that with all you have we are confident that we all who have died in Christ, he will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for the blessings you give him in this life to those We thank you for the blessings you gave him in this life to show your fatherly care to all of us and the fellowship which in ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Welcome our brother, Reverend Father John Manze to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith until we come to meet Christ 
you will come to meet in Christ to be with you and our brother forever. We make this prayer to Jesus Christ our Lord. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Till we meet again. 